Hi there, welcome back for our seventh part of the Ultimate College Search Guide for Seniors. Today, we're going to be talking about reviewing your acceptance letters. Sometime around April, most admissions offices will start to send out their letters to everyone that has applied. So while you're waiting for those letters to arrive, you should be checking your portals with each school, contacting the admissions offices to see where their letter is, working on scholarship applications for these schools, keeping up with your schoolwork, and definitely focusing on yourself so you don't burn out. When they arrive, review all your acceptance and financial aid offers, and then compare the financial aid packages to see which schools offered the best aid to you. This will be extremely helpful in making your final decision later. Don't be afraid to ask questions or inquire about more financial aid opportunities with colleges you're very interested in that may not have given you the best aid packages. They may offer you more if you really want to enroll there. There will also be a link in the description below to an article on how to appeal your financial aid letter. Sadly, not all letters you're gonna get back from colleges are going to be acceptance letters. If you get waitlisted, don't despair. Understand that the reality of the situation is that some schools are more competitive than others. Your next step should be to indicate that you would like to stay on the waitlist, make a deposit for a different school by May 1st, staying involved and just keeping an eye on the school, and be persuasive but not push to demonstrate your interest in the school still. Unfortunately, you may receive a rejection letter from a school, but remember, it's okay to get rejected. Not everyone gets accepted to all the colleges they apply to. Rejection is a part of life, but it's important to focus on the schools that did admit you. And with getting that rejection letter, you'll need to ask yourself these four important questions. Did you actually want to go to that school? How high was that school on your list? Why did you get rejected? And why do you care about the rejection? If you can answer these four questions, then maybe you can try reapplying or maybe transferring after your freshman year. Check out college student Tanvi's video on dealing with college rejections to learn tips on how to stay positive after receiving a college rejection letter. The link for her video will be in the description below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the other ones in the series. We also have series for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors that have a ton of information if you're interested in that. If you like this video, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Also, click the bell button if you want to know when the next video goes live for a notification.